The Bucks have been a real feel-good story from the start of the year. They began the year as the number four ranked team in the area. They have won every week and kept picking up momentum throughout the course of the season, climbing all the way up to our top spot. Last year, when Dunmore was the number one team in the state in Class A, they had two standout players suffer very serious and devastating injuries. First running back Tom Lipinski, who had worked his way into the starting lineup, was tackled in the first game against North Pocono and suffered a very horrifying break of his both bones in his lower leg. I went down, I heard a crunch, a snap. I wasn't, wasn't really trying not to think about it too much and then I looked down and it was all, my leg was all deformed and uh, the trainers came out, Dr. Henses came on the field immediately. He, he, told, he said what it was, a tib-fib fracture. Then, two weeks later, Eamon Early, a starting defensive player, suffered a dislocated hip. Uh, I was running the ball and uh, I got hit and when I fell I just kind of landed the wrong way. So I've never, I've never gotten hurt in my life so I knew when that happened I knew there was something wrong. Both of these injuries are so bad nobody thought either player would be able to come back and play well, certainly not last year and even throughout the course of this season. When I first arrived at the hospital I was thinking I was never, never going to step on the football field again. My recovery was very hard. Um, I, it was a long road. I really did not plan on coming back to play football. When I found out I wasn't coming back that season, I was pretty devastated. Yeah. In my coaching career, these were probably the two devastating injuries that we probably had, you know, and they were right in front of us that, uh, to the point where you could see it happening and, you know, we're looking at people that we're going to be starters for. And all of a sudden now, they're out for the entire year. But through their hard work and dedication and their devotion to the Dunmore football program, both are back on the field for the Bucks and starting to make huge contributions as they have now gone to, into week nine unbeaten and leading the Lackawanna Football Conference Division II. It was like when we started school, all I could think about was, man, I wish I was playing football. Before I got back out here, it felt great to be out here with the team again. Uh, you know, I just forget about it. It's in the past, like it never happened, and this is my last year, so I, I'm doing all the hard work I can to uh, play. And they, they made a tremendous impact on our players to, to just look at them and say, hey, if they can do this, and we could we could put uh, more than 110% effort in that aspect of it. All right, it's time now to take a look at where our Times Tribune top 10 football teams will be in action this weekend. We'll start with number one, Dunmore. The Bucks will be taking on Carbondale on Friday night. Number two, Valley View, will be back in action with a tough game this week on the road at West Scranton. Number three is Wallen Paw Pack. The Buckhorns will be hosting number four Scranton in our Times Tribune High School Football Game of the Week. Number five Scranton Prep will be playing on Saturday afternoon at 1.30 at Scranton Memorial Stadium against number seven Delaware Valley. Number six Old Forge has a very important game on Saturday afternoon as well. The Blue Devils will be at Holy Cross. Number eight is Lackawanna Trail. The Lions will be taking on Montrose this week. Number nine, Riverside, will be on the road at Lakeland. And number 10, Susquehanna, will finish off the week with a Saturday afternoon game against Mid Valley. That'll do it for the high school football show for week nine here on thetimestribune.com. Join us again next week.